Turning them into monsters, people without any conscience, morals. On the 26th or so of January the following year, the 5th Brigade went into Matabulalip, and the first onslaught was indescribably violent. The Matabelele and Kukuraundi massacres were really aimed at the population in general to crush Zapo. That was the first sign that things were going wrong. I question the integrity of a president of a country who stands up in full view of uh, everybody and condones violence, not uh, perhaps euphemistically or you know, in a roundabout manner, but directly threatens those that oppose him with death. And a few days down the line, people get killed. It went Wemukabe, Wakana, Kashumba, something of that nature. So we were made to sing those songs repeatedly, repeatedly dancing. People were being beaten. Those who did not know Shona, sometimes they were made to file up at that end. One by one, either they will be pushed over into the, the, the mine shaft or they will be shot using pistols. So the man's hands are tied behind his back? Yes. Tied with wire? These are two hands, you see? It was absolutely vital, in my view, for the well-being of Matabililand, for the well-being, therefore, of the country, that the truth was told. That was it, breaking the silence. In March 1997, we re released the Human Rights Report, Breaking the Silence, and it is atrocious in what it reports. In such a lot of Nila in Ugutagomatona, isn't just we are in Gaius of Antigan? Over Bona and Gobo, Babula, I want to go to an Elaine, a Nasus, a Cholucha Center, Kuluin, the Lewis, the Lavana, Baza, or Pelil, and Vilim Yamabona. Over Eguin, the Lewis, and Gapul. You want to set up Muntoki, Chiluguti, we are Kifuki Kalin. I think Mugabe has always been a master at propaganda. He has been a master at spin. And so that spin that this is the anti-apartheid, this is the struggle against apartheid, uh, actually worked. And certainly the whole of Africa ignored Kukuraundi. Uh, the British ignored it. Mugabe forced his rival, Joshua Nkomo, to unite with him. The new party was called ZANU Patriotic Front, or ZANU-PF.
the political tensions lessened. There were negotiations which ultimately led um, to ZAPU being swallowed up by ZANU-PF in terms of the unity accord which was signed on the 22nd of December 1987. Our unity is so vital is so important for the development of this country. There must, there must be no deceit. We must not deceive each other. We must mean what we say. We must do what we say. We must do what we come to say. Having swallowed Zaku, Mugabe changed the constitution. He became executive president and the head of the armed forces. Now he tasted real power. But new opposition appeared, accusing the cabinet of corruption. Popular singer Thomas Mokfumo denounced corruption in song, but his music was banned from being broadcast. into Matabele land, the 5th Brigade, trained by the North. It's only recently that people have begun to speak openly about what happened over 15 years ago. That's is <laughs> Pumbling the beatings, the killing, the torture is unbelievable, unbelievable. And uh, uh, these people will play it off. People are being taken daily at night and they disappear forever. And those who are taken to police camp, in the, the stops camp in Brawai, the torture that goes in there is to be seen to be believed, and by the black people to another black man. We were bitter. We didn't mean words. I told him Gavi straight, and we expelled from government because we told him it's point blank that this was a betrayal and a very serious one, and you're not going to take it lying low. A Catholic Church inquiry has put the number of those who died at nearly 4,000 on a conservative estimate, and perhaps double that. The man's hands are tied behind his back? Yes. Tied with wire? They had no hand in the attacks that were made on Matabele Land. I would like to state that myself. This is what he says. This was just something that was done by junior officers. He had no hand in it, and we took it for his word. But I wouldn't say myself that he had no hand in it, because I don't know. Mugabe's troops led an attack on Nkomo's house in Bulawayo. They shot his driver and two others. And Como narrowly escaped. In fear of his life, the father figure of the liberation struggle fled the independent Zimbabwe he had helped create. 
Government ministers and Mugabe supporters now spoke of a final solution to the Nkomo problem, the liquidation of Zapi. Nkomo must be out. He must die in exile. Die in exile? In exile. We don't see him in Zimbabwe anymore. Nkomo is an enemy to all the people. He must be hanged. Hanged? Yeah. Why do you say that? He's disturbing the country. We will order Mugabe. We, we are going to order Mugabe to declare one party state. Mugabe needed no encouragement. A one-party state had always been his ambition.